Hi there, it's Doug here. In the last video, I talked about uh, portfolio allocations and minimizing risks against market downturns and that. But the key thing that somebody needs to do when they're um, uh, investing is the ability to evaluate what is a fair value of a stock um, and to make sure that a stock has a good chance of surviving downturns or bad situations of recessions or downturns for an industry. Uh, so uh, I have seven points that I I look at. Um, uh, they don't necessarily mean the stock's going to go up, but but it, it's sort of giving myself a margin of safety and a, and uh, a little bit of confidence that the this, the actual company will exist for a long time. Because remember, uh, Benjamin Graham, uh, Warren Buffett, everybody. Even Peter Lynch, they all say that it's, you know, you're investing in a business. It's not necessarily just a piece of paper or stock. And so the value of that business and the relation of it to the stock is important. And it's the biggest thing that we can control. So anyways, I look at seven things. The first thing I look at is financial health, which goes to looking into the balance sheet. And I'm going to do... Um, uh, a series of, of uh, videos, one for each of these seven points. So I'm just going to go over them briefly here. So anyways, it's the balance sheet, which basically is the financial health of the business. So it's the same thing as your own, where you have a certain amount of cash in the, in the bank, you own uh, a house, but you also have debt against it. So bottom line is we're looking for businesses that do not have too much debt going against uh the assets that they have that allows them to have the strength in in any time when you know there's struggles or headwinds in in the actual operations of their business it gives them a good solid uh, background to be able to hold down um, the other thing that 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 I look at the point two is to look at the earnings value of those uh, assets uh, because the cash flows coming in those are important too Having a strong balance sheet is great, but if you have negative cash flows, then eventually that balance sheet will get weaker. So the ideal stock has a solid balance sheet and also has good solid cash flows coming in every quarter. Um, after that, uh, the next two, numbers three and four, are all about uh, valuation ratios and uh, determining what the fair value of a stock actually is. And, and that is... Uh, probably, I think, the most important thing that I can do in, in trying to ensure or, or, or increase my chances of success when I do an investment. So um, I'll look at a number of different ratios that, that, that can be compared to see uh, whether a stock looks like it's undervalued or overvalued. Uh, and then I'll go through a, a discounted cash flow uh, piece where I actually figure out between the book value and the earnings of the company what actually the stock value should be worth. So those are numbers three and four. Uh, after that, uh, if there is a dividend, I, I try to evaluate the ability of the company to pay that dividend um, because uh, if, if they're paying out more than actually what they're earning or all of what they're earning, then, then the dividend can be in danger. Uh, if the company doesn't pay a dividend, I want to see what the likelihood or, or what the chances are that this company could easily pay a dividend in the future. So if they do, then, uh, uh, you know, that's something that's good for me in the end. I do like dividend paying stocks, but uh, I go where value is and sometimes the dividend stocks are overvalued and I don't get as many that are undervalued. Um, uh, after that, then there's qualitative analysis, which uh, I use uh, various news stories, uh, sites like Seeking Alpha and that to uh, determine uh, some of the things that aren't told, shown in the fundamentals. And, um, you know, uh, just trying to find out if there's, there's a story back there that uh, uh, maybe is some information I'm not aware of that could influence my decision. And then the final thing, number seven, is technical analysis. And I always do this last because first I wanna make sure I like the company and I like the price of the company. Then if I do, I do use technical analysis to try and see if there's uh, a floor building under a price if the stock's coming down. Uh, I try to, and even if there's maybe uh, signs that, that the price action is turning around, I don't mind buying leveraging down but I do like to look at times, I try to buy in at times when it looks like there's some support for a price. 
Uh, but as usual, if you're going for value, often the prices come down because that's why the values are so good compared to what the operation is doing. So anyways, uh, those are the seven points. I'm going to do uh, a series of possibly seven videos that uh, uh, will outline these in a little more detail and give you an idea of what what I actually do when I'm looking for stocks. And then after that, uh, I'll start uh, putting out videos more on what my holdings are, uh, what stocks I'm looking at, how I'm evaluating them, uh, talking about some of the different gurus I study, and, and just start to open up a little bit more on this channel. Okay, anyways, I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, if you like what you see in this uh, channel, please subscribe, feel free to comment. Uh, like and share with other people. Thanks very much.